Hello and welcome to my gameplay tips for the Japanese PSP game Queen's Blade Spiral Chaos. This is a game that I've been looking forward to playing very much and now that I have my hands on it I would like to go over the combat menu with you today so that those of you following along at home can play this game uh, with me. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go to free stage. This is uh, an option that's available between every mission. You can play a, you know, a random battle here um, on the, the stage and uh, grind your characters to your heart's content. You can level up all that you want. So the victory conditions here are win, all enemy characters are defeated, lose is all ally characters are defeated pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and get started. The uh, first option on this menu here is the party member menu. And those of you who have been following along and watched my intermission menu video will be familiar with this. It's exactly the same as it is in the intermission menu. Um, the item menu uh, also, if you watched my intermission menu video, exactly the same. So if you haven't, now might be a good time to go and watch my video about the intermission menu before we get started on the battle menu. If you've already seen it, then kudos to you, and uh, let's keep going. So this other menu is the map view. So you can see, you know, if you wanted, we can move around the map. Um, we're selected on a character right now. You can check out your enemy characters. That's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll choose Go, and we're selected right now on uh, on one of our allied characters, Cute, and we can see some information about her. She is a warrior type. She has no gems selected. She's level four, HP, um, action points, skill points, uh, how much armor her various body parts have, which are all full. Um, that gauge that fills up as you get hit. Um, anyway, we have a context menu here. Um, it has movement, item, skill, and status right now. These are available options. So we're going to choose move and uh, go ahead and uh, position ourselves here. Now you'll see that the character Jean has a sword bubble floating over his head here. Cute and Jean get along well. So they have the ability to combine attacks, um, and any characters that you can do that with will, will show this icon. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, but now this is a context menu. Now that we've moved close, we have the option to attack. That's the first option here. And um, so we can see the attack range is two squares with this character. So we can attack this gel here. We also have the option of attacking the other enemy here. And I think we're going to attack this roper. I think is, is uh, going to be the best way to do this. So uh, here we are in this battle menu. And uh, it looks really intimidating. Uh, it's really not. It's not that bad. Um, let me break this down for you a little bit. Um, there's kind of a left column and then there's a right column and then below that there's like a little bit of information about the enemy. So, you know, at the top we have name, that, that bar that fills up, that's not a bar, it's a percentage, but, um, you know, just some various information. Um, but in, in this left menu we have our attacks and that's the important part. And then in the right we have our combos and we're going to build a combo out of the attacks. So, you know, here we're uh, put in slash, slash, and double swing. So let's look a little bit more into how that works. So this first attack, slash, costs 7 AP, and it has a hit percentage of 100%. It's definitely going to hit. Um, so we get that information about it. Um, if you look down on the left-hand side, you can also see the damage that it's going to do. It's right under the OK. Uh, it's going to do 149. You can see how much of your AP it's going to use up. You'll have 77 left. You can also see how much AP it's going to cost to do it a second time. It will cost 12. I don't know why the AP goes up the more you do the same attack, 
that's how it works. Um, then you can also see, you know, what body parts it's going to hit. It's going to hit the head and chest area, and you can see a percentage to hit. I think that CT is like a critical. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's critical percent. And if you hit triangle, like I just did, um, it it does like an auto combo. So if you know if you're lazy and you don't want to build your combo, just hit triangle and it'll automatically chuck a combo in there for you. But um, you can see that it totaled the combo, so it's 452 damage in that damage thing. Now we've just gone back to slash, and the slash alone is 149. But um, it will when you when you move to OK, it'll total up your the amount of damage for your combo. And you know in the enemy section, it just shows you how much hit points the enemy should have left after the attack goes through. Um, it'll sh you know it shows you the the level. Um, it shows you their evasion and defense, I believe are those two stats, 74 and 42. Um, so yeah, so that's about that, that uh, ideally will take off 457 damage with this combo here. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a try. So um, this screen also has a lot of information, uh, don't be intimidated. The 457 is how much damage we're going to do, ideally, the 134 how much they're going to do. Um, we only have two things we can really select here. Um, animation on or off is this one here, toggle it off, toggle it on. Um, and this one is just go, so let's do it. So we've turned the animations on, just so you can see how this goes. You're, you're not going to want it on in every battle, it gets tedious, but there are certain instances where you, you, you really do need to have it on, and uh, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. So we're, we're doing our double swing, and that was our combo, and Roper is not uh, especially pleased about that, so now he is retaliating. Uh, and you can see it's uh, attacking the armor, you know, that's body, body. His body's now critical, or I believe it's the body, or I guess, I guess the body had a critical hit uh, against it. So, um, so there was that attack, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and just move on to our next member of the party. Um, let's have Jean attack, and what I'd like to show you is, um, well, here's the menu, let me show you this. So our options are move. Uh, item, skill, heal. This is healing level 2, that's an ability of Jean's. It's not a skill, it's just something that he can do, and status. So, um, you know, certain things like doing skills or healing, um, you can see this, he actually has a skill that is heal. This actually heals by 30%. It takes up skill points, it costs 30 out of the 92 skill points he has. Um, the other one is uh, hit up, which is going to increase the hit percent chance, it looks like, by 25%. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So there we go. He, he's now 25% more accurate. And um, now that we've moved into range of an enemy, we can attack. And you'll see that sword icon comes up, so that means that we're going to be able to chain an attack here. So his two attacks, or I mean, sorry, his, his only attack is tackle. So let's put that in twice. Um, it actually hits all body parts. Kind of cool. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Um, you, you'll see here that the uh, where it says no support for the other character, there's now a portrait for our character who is supporting us. Um, there's a support menu, so you can actually toggle it to no support or choose which character you want supporting you. Uh, I assume that if you had more than one character that could support you, you know, they might be next to you and you could pick which one you wanted. Um, let's go ahead and turn the animations off because I don't want those on. And we'll go ahead and do this. So this is what this looks like with no animation. Um, so now Cute is joining in on the attack right there and finished the enemy off. So that was very cool. Um, that's an effective way to utilize characters with uh, whom you have a good relationship. So that's basically it. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm going to continue this in another video, so check that out. And please check out my gaming blog, playongo.com, for more information.